we're ready to start the eyes. Now on my drawing, I have finished almost all of the contour lines except for the eyes. So I've sped this up a little bit to show you um, just a recap of how we do our gridding. It's very important that you are looking at the exact shape of your eyes. Everyone has a different shape of eyes, especially those eyelid lines. Pay special attention to the angle of the lines and how the lines intersect and meet so that um, you're giving yourself more of facial expressions. I'm also drawing in those um, lines around my eyes because it will help to show that I am smiling even though I have my mask on. Okay, so now that all of the contour lines are done, you'll want to carefully go back and erase your guidelines, those grid lines, very, very carefully. But you don't want to take your hand and sweep your hand across the paper to get rid of those eraser shavings. So use a paintbrush, a dry paintbrush, to sweep away those eraser shavings. I've only erased the part that I'm going to show you, but if you want to, you can erase all of your grid lines right now. And we're ready to start shading. So what I do is I look for the darkest parts first. The pupil will be the blackest part of your whole drawing. So make sure you get that really, really dark. And then from there, I'm looking at where else I see is really dark. So on my lash line, there is a pretty bold line that I'm doing right now. If you start with the darkest parts first and the lightest parts first, kind of makes things a little bit easier when you go in to do the middle tones. Now around the iris, there's also a bit of a dark rim right around that circle. So I'm darkening that up as well. You'll, you may have noticed that I did draw in where the reflection spots were on my eyes. Very important that you leave those white of the paper. Now some of you may also be able to see those like starburst lines in your eyes to add some texture that you can draw that in right now too. Now you may shade by turning the pencil on its side to shade in, but sometimes in teeny tiny areas like our eyes, it's a little bit hard. So you can use what's called a blending stump to soften up and blend together the graphite of your pencil. The whites of your eyes are not completely white. You actually have a slight shadow from your eyelid on the whites of your eyes. So that's what I'm going in and doing right now, not with pencil, but that blending stump actually picks up some of the graphite and I can use that um, to shade and actually draw with. Okay, just darkening up some of those lines because I see it's darker on my photograph. Right in the tear duct, it's a little bit darker too. My lower lash line needed to be darkened up a little bit more too as well. Right, now if you look, there is a shadow that shows right on the outside corner and it's especially dark on the inner corner of my eye, right above the tear duct. So I'm using my blending stump to add in some of that shading. Not pressing very hard. The harder you press with the blending stump, depending on how much graphite is already on it, you'll get more of a dark shadow.
needed to erase that little bit because the shadow came in just a tad right below the eyebrow. Now I'm turning my pencil on the side and I'm shading in the eyebrow now. It's more of a uh, medium shadow and then I can actually go back in with that blending stump and blend those shadows together. Again, I just pointed out um, there is a shadow that you can see on my image that goes up across the forehead. There is a highlight where the light was hitting on that side of the face, so we have to show where the shadows are. So it's just a process of um, looking where the dark areas are and then the light areas, keeping the light areas light, and then um, going in and looking for all of those medium tones. Now, I've sped up the second eye, which I thought was interesting. The second eye is in a little bit more shadow, so the pupil is a little bit more dilated. It's bigger. Again, looking for the dark tones first, and then going back in with the medium tones. Now I realized halfway through that I forgot to erase my guidelines from the grid, so I'm erasing those now. Really paying, paying special attention to um, the slope of each line so it looks like my eye. You may come to love that blending stump. Notice I really haven't drawn any lines for my nose because you really don't have definite lines for your nose. The nose, um, because it comes away from the face, you'll see more shadow than anything else. So I'm just adding some shadow for the nose. And there we go.